what is the game we are playing? It is called Isomnium. Hello everybody. Welcome to... Hang on, let me get the paper. <clears throat> I, Isomnium Files. Console, PlayStation 4. Rating, Mator. One rainy night in November, a woman's body is found at an abandoned theme park, mounted on a merry-go-round horse. She has been stabbed repeatedly. Oh. Well, let's not read any more of that. Because <clears throat> it sounds like it might get into spoiler alert, but hey, welcome everyone to finally uh, this game that I've had. Well, it didn't win the poll, so it's not like I've been waiting on it. But but I've had the game at my house this whole time because of some some GameFly shenanigans. Uh, but we don't need to get into that. Uh, hello, Sally and Fack and Sword. Yeah, that was the GameFly. The, the little game fly sleeve usually gives you a little description of the game, and sometimes I don't know where they get the information from, because sometimes the description's kind of weird. That one sounded like it was getting a little too far into the story. All oh, right, yeah, Fak was telling me that it's I. Because when I see the capital letters AI next to each other, I think AI. I guess like, I don't know, the term AI or the movie AI, but uh, I guess it's supposed to be like you're pronouncing it in Japanese, I. Uh, oh, there is an eyeball behind it too, huh? Um. But anyway, we probably don't really need to look at the options, but, uh, cursor speed, but I'm playing this on PS4. How do I test the cursor speed out? Uh, skip unseen content. I'm just going to not mess with this. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. Language, Nihon. English. Starting the game with a selected language. Language cannot be switched. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Ma imagine if you made that mistake. Game Sports Odyssey. Okay. That is good to know. It says there's zero people watching, by the way, and it looks like there's at least three people. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance, so on and so forth. I feel like the only reason they put that is because there's definitely people in the game based on people in real life. Every time I see that, it's like... I'm, I'm pretty sure... You're just overcompensating there, buddy. Can I play Lost Judgment? Um, what's... I don't know what that is, actually. Is that the Umbrella logo? Is that the top of the merry-go-round that I just read in the... on the sleeve? I think it is. Is that violin music I hear with the rain? It's actually raining right now. Outside my actual window. So I guess the mood has already been set. It's a Yakuza spin-off, you say. What are those orange beams of light circling around the area? Is that in the future? That's like the uh, the police tape. That's what it looks like. Oh no. Oh no, who wears high heels at a carnival? You're just asking for trouble. 
Gonna be walking around all day. Well, the blood's dried, so she must have been there a while. What is this? A series of unfortunate events? I see these eyeballs everywhere. No, I know, I know what it's for. I just, every time I see it, I feel like... It just feels like, okay, now I need to look out for who their likeness they're using or whatever. Ooh, day one, Friday. Sigai? Sigoi? Bloom Park. 10.54 p.m. <gasps> That's what time it is. Oh, no, it's not. Hmm. Hmm. All the generic police wear that, like, square hat. Your investigation is a main character. Okay, now is it date or is it date? Because now I don't know anymore. Inspect scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. I played a tiny bit of Borderlands with my friends, uh, like in high school, years ago, but I. I uh, haven't played like a bunch. I played a little bit, I think, of the first game and a little bit, tiny bit of the second game. Move the cursor to find something that catches your eye. Is this a PC game, firstly? Is that why you have like a, like a point and click type thing? Okay, so it is Date. Gotcha. Boss, policeman, inspector. Presenting with choices and look. So you always want to look before you talk to them. A local cop. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Oh. Inspector from Metro. Hope he finds a lead. I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. Okay, he's very excited. He's wearing a mask because it's 2021. Hey, Donga, how's it going? Happy Kwanzaa. Hope you had a happy Xmas weekend. Thank you. Same to you. Um, there's tons of voice acting, so don't worry about pronunciation. Well, I guess that's good. What's this log option? Oh, okay. So if you miss something, or you want to remind yourself. It's Kagami, sir. It's Kagabe, sir. Uh... Not yet, sir. His voice changed completely. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Interesting that that option's still there. Is yes. he gonna... Kagami, sir. Oh, uh, what's your name again? Kagami. I forgot. What was your name? Are you serious? It's Kagami! Oh, this guy is very upset. He went from a big fan to, uh... Are we just teasing him at this point? I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. Well, you... You sure gave us the option, didn't you? Oh, there's another policeman hiding back there. Oh, we can't talk to that one. Okay, let's talk to the boss now. I call her boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Um, It's unusual for this time of year. It's November. Doesn't it rain in November? Isn't that a rainy It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Let me see her. 
One rainy night in November, it says right here on the official sleeve of the game, made by the directors of the game, handcrafted. Um... What am I doing here? Are you serious? Is that us? Your special agent, Wait. Dante. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answered me. One of our eyes was yellow. I called you here to inspect the scene, Dante. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Is this like a silver case reference? Is that supposed to be like usually a silver no. eye? Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure, but this could be a copycat killer at work from the case six years ago. A case six years ago? Huh. For the reason she didn't elaborate. It's not murder season. It's unusual for murders to happen in November. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people choose topics that interest you, you might obtain important information or clues. So are they basically just saying you don't have to pick every option? Because I've just been picking every option, but if they're emphasizing on uh correct ju and uh uchi koshi are the only two people to have played the silver case and thus share a special bond that's cool that's cool to know what can you tell me about the victim her name's nadami shoko you knew her right i don't know what was the relationship like I heard you two have been close for years. Yeah, what the heck? Why would you put me on the job? And she's like smirking about it too. Oh, I heard you were close with a deceased woman who got stabbed. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. So we're rude. just acquaintances. Okay, we're just acquaintances. So you can't get me, boss. We were just acquaintances. Metal pole. Another metal pole. Thanks. Jesus, they're freaking every single object. But you can't look too far much farther up up though. Interesting how that's in past tense. I took a look inside. But didn't find anything, as if that's perhaps that's already happened. I wonder where the fence is green. Oh, now it's not anymore. Oh, corpse. It's weird, if I could just... Sir, could you please not get any closer? <clears throat> it was weird, like, when you were selecting the objects, you had to, like, narrow in on it horizontally because you couldn't go up any higher. I wonder if that's just for this part or if that's, like, a regular thing. Like, everything was kind of on an x-axis. What was the inspector's name again? I don't remember, honestly. They said it too many times, it blurred in my brain. We haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Okay. Uh, that's Iba. Her official designation is Eyeball. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye, an eye for an eye. Okay. AI for an eye. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing. Okay, well, playing through the story, I have a special vision mode may help you obtain new information. 
You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target slick zoom and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls. Whoops. Um, I don't know his name, though I forgot it. Uh, so how do we do zoom mode? Oh, okay, I'm dumb. I was using the right stick. I thought that was moving the cursor, but no, I had to move the left stick to move the cursor. How come you guys didn't tell me anything? I was like... You guys are just leaving me out in the dry here, and it's raining even. Feels like an enormous eye staring down on you. This whole thing's a... Uh... Oh, so it is. Oh wow, that's exactly what I said. Is that supposed to be the police tape? And that, that, that does end up being what it was. I'm guessing green means some- actually, I don't know what it means. Because I thought maybe it was something you hadn't interacted with yet, but... We already looked at the barrier. Okay, maybe it's because I looked at this barrier. Brain is depressing. Okay, so maybe there's more dialogue. A horse from the merry-go-round. Skewered horse. It looks like it's skewered. That's how all merry-go-round horses look. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Um... It looks almost pitiful. And a ride. Weird that that was more text, because we checked the control room and there was like, oh, I checked it and there's nothing. And then it was green as if there was going to tell us more, but then all it told us was there's no leads here. This just seemed a little redundant. It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather's gotten it to it pretty bad. I guess we could still talk to her more. Oh. Left eye. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim sure is. Has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or scenario. It. Uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. What if she died and then immediately a crow took her eye out? Carved it out while she was still alive. Correct. The eyeball has also not been recovered from the scene. So the killer took it with them. That is highly likely. There's some killer in an apartment with just eyeballs lining the walls. Why would they do that? Every victim. I believe answering those kinds of questions is your job, Special Agent Date. Huh, okay. Right now. Pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, alright? I'm just upset. Because we recognize her. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times, though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. He looks kind of like uh, like a character from uh, from Near. Well, that's a terrifying mental image, Jay. Thanks for that. Wait, what did I say? Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death: blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Mm. That would place 
place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Well, if it was around winter time, then it would have been getting dark already. The victim is probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Oh, the killer saw him with stolen eyeballs. Look, I was I'm just trying to be a detective. What was that noise? What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. So in the future, do the detectives have to like even like common sense things, they have to rely on their little AIs that live inside their eyeballs. Like I'm pretty sure everyone knows the sound came from inside the inside the merry-go-round. Inside the column? AI, I I feel really weak and tired for some reason. That's because you haven't eaten in two days. You should definitely eat. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I definitely did. I couldn't tell where it came from though. Hey, I already read that. A sound? I didn't hear anything. Really? Are you in on this? You heard it too, sir? I wonder what it was. Okay, he heard it. I wish I knew what his name was. I can't remember. Date, use me to see through the column. Date's ex just incredibly dumb. Utilize the x-ray mode. X-ray mode. Um, someone in there. Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. It's the killer. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Did we throw down the umbrella because it's bad luck to have an umbrella indoors? And that technically hey, would be indoors. Shut up. Shut up! Pushed him aside with no explanation and ran up the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. Open the door. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle in the column, grabbed it hard, tried to pull it open. Ah. Oh, budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Don't worry, Sally. We'll get through this together. Hey. Whoever's in there. Oh my god, is that necessary? I wish we had seen his revolver for a while before we saw it expand into a laser gun. Because that would have really threw us off, but we was there for a split second. Izuki. Well there we go. What did I say? It's the killer. But she's been there for five hours? Damn. She's just in there chilling. Oh yeah, I think it's safe to say this game is rated M for Mator, in case anybody uh, cannot handle or is perhaps not age appropriate for that. We just did hyperdrive. Whoa, is this my apartment? This place? Don't you recognize your own apartment? This is your dream. I'm me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm me also. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Eyeball. Skeleton. Wrist. Uh, 
Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. Well, I just asked you who you were and you didn't answer it. All right, then. Is who okay? are you? I'm me, of course. Okay. I know that voice. Iba? Oh, you are the eyeball. Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. <laughs> I like that that's his first reaction. Huh, you look like a shrimp. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. Okay. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Okay. My brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things I should know, I can't remember. My head is all fuzzy. I guess that makes sense. When you're unconscious. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Funnily enough, I'm getting like deadly premonition <clears throat> vibes. What'd she say? Did I recognize this room? Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. Okay. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Oh yeah, because Somnia is like dream. But I, I didn't know what Somnium was. Mental block number one. Or mental lock number one, I guess. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? I thought she did have clothes, they were just like very uh even your critical thinking abilities like adult. skin tight. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. Until lock this number two world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks. Or simply locks for convenience. Okay. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? We got a little bit of Psychonauts going on here. Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Sinking in the brain... The brine... Uh... Wake that day up. Thought his dream world in this strange and surreal dream. Trust the light to wake up that day. Um, you explore a dream to discover a subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. The guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. Oh, good. I'm glad that we have our little goal on the top left. Move her closer to the door. Oh, we just straight up play as her now. So that's what he meant. manually save. If you would like to end the game, uh, top right, yeah, it's like a power button. Wow, there's so much empty space. Can we zoom in? Begin sync? Case file. I don't know what sinking does, so I don't know if I want to mess with that yet. Reopen investigation, begin investigation. The 
so we want to turn on the light. Usually the light is right next to the door, so that when you're entering a dark room, you can just flick the light on easily. Apparently this room is not designed like that. Maybe next to the- here we go. Oh, but the light switch is like whoops. The light switch is covered with thorns. Um, is there a way to like examine it? Sync is the section you're in now. This is like a timeline. If you view the map, your current location objects you've investigated are something. If you're lost or want to save time, try checking the map. What is that, though? Which way am I facing? Just the door? But didn't we already just say we had to turn on the light before the door can open? A door locked with a padlock. Hmm. Seems weird that they would. It appears have us do all that. I have to do is open this door. Okay. That's it. You're supposed to turn a knob, and also it looks like it's a door that you push open. But maybe not. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Dante's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. This is a very weird attempt at opening a door. I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen. I, I shouldn't explain anymore because you won't remember when you wake up. And then five minutes later, I better explain further. Dante, look at that. Silly. Places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Ev I see. If you understand these I'm sorry, words, I feel like we could probably we get the that? idea. I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who... You may remember upon the flight. I need to give you commands that will unlock them. Indeed, but it is difficult to predict exactly. How Think outside the box. Now. Don't forget that I have a veto. Sorry, because I already know what we're supposed to do, so I was just kind of. It's weird because they in the cutscene they explained, and then they kind of re-explained during the gameplay. So let's look at the light there switch. Are on the switch. You realize I stand here as part of your own existence. Hit the switch. Your consciousness and mine are linked. Hurry up and turn on the switch. The switch covered in thorns? Yeah, just just avoid the uh, the thorns. Yes, hurry. <laughs> wow, you went right for the thorn. Uh, sorry. I don't actually feel any pain. You... I really am sorry. You were able to touch it. I mean, I, I was, like, reading it still sort. I just was trying to get through it quickly because it was just kind of reiterating Correct. what we already so knew what to, to do. Keep this up? Something like that. Um... A winter this. iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Crab smell. This will smell it. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. <laughs> What? Okay. Uh, oh. oh my god. That's violent. Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. She okay? She dead? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You like sniffing flowers. Okay, um, so we made a little progress by sniffing that? I wonder what would happen if we would have grabbed the flower. If you find a skip here and there, you'll be able to pick up when stuff is plot critical. I mean, yeah, that's what I kind of figured. I just didn't want to have to... Um... A switch. The oh, they're gone. gone. I didn't even realize. We, we sniffed a flower up her nose and now the switch. thorns are gone. The skeleton has become a human and then a vanished. Completely. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Hmm. <laughs> Turned on the light. Um game is a ship post. Dream logic works in mysterious ways, but also the game has some career-defining performances from the voice cast. I heard Sword say before that the voice cast was like really, really, really good. It hasn't really stood out to me yet. Like it, to me, it, but I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to just judge it right away. I'll, I'll try to give it some, uh, you know, more time to, to uh, feel it out. If only the camera panned over to the switch to show you that the thorns were gone. I don't know, I must have missed that. <laughs> but there's another mental lock in this song. You can always check the tutorial, but... Well, the funny thing is, from my experience in Dreams, and I found out later that this was a pretty uh, common thing, is that light switches don't work in Dreams. Because I guess your brain has a hard time... Uh, Trying to like instantly, I don't know, like causing a light to go on or off is just difficult for you to perceive in, in, a, in your dream, I guess. But I don't know, when I was little I had the same thing where I remember I would try flipping a light switch and it wouldn't do anything. And then later I found out that that was just a common thing for people. But uh, apparently for this guy it opens doors. Wine. Hey, one of that skeleton's eyes is bloody, just like the uh, the girl on the merry-go-round. A glass of wine. 1972. Uh, investigate. I don't think we want to drink it right away. We don't know what could be in it. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Burgonia. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. A glass of wine. Apparently we like smelling stuff, so... Oh, that is a thing you do with wine, isn't it? Hmm. The nose is fresh. I'm not really a wine expert, but I do recall seeing that. Smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like me enjoys Spike Tunesoft original wine. Is that the name of the company? But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. Does he uh, get a little weird when he gets drunk? Oh, there's stuff over here now, too. Apparently sniffing things is how you progress in this game. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Kick, turn off the light, or lift up. We'll try turning it off. Let's see if the but dream how? thing works. I cannot find a switch or a plug. Smell it, apparently. Dream. I don't get what I want. 
In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. Somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Maybe it's that girl that got murdered that you knew. Um. Hello again, Sally. Did you did you come leave and come back? The self same criminals behind Dongan Rampa, the different teams behind the two. Oh no, that's funny. Well, I guess this game must be good if you like this and you trusted, you know, after because I know how much you don't like Dongan Rampa. So if you would trust the same publisher. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. What? I don't get it. Shut up. Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That's kind of dirty. I missed some innuendo there, apparently. A lamp. It looks like. Lift up. That's always fun to do. It's not even plugged in. It's also stuck to the ground, apparently. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. How about this basket? A basket? I cannot see inside it. Wear basket? Tackle. Let's search the basket. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra? What? Are these just like... Like a... And cryptid? A $1 bill. The... The... The rarest cryptid of all, the one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. Wow, okay. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Hmm. Oh, so you don't get the other options all the time. So, like, we can't wear the basket or tackle it or whatever, huh? That's weird, because you think the weird options would be one of the last ones you would do. Like, why would you save the normal option for last? A lamp. It I guess all we could do, at least we could kick this. <laughs> that made the skeleton move. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey. Hey, that's more than slightly. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? She's a little too excited about kicking things. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Okay, we'll investigate first because we know we have to hit it. Eventually. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. <laughs> they should. A skeleton. Alright, see if this moves the lamp. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Oh my god, I'm just gonna punch. Oh my! Good lord. What? Uh. I have a look. The wall. The moving. What's happening with the wall? What about the wall? Oh. Okay. Well. The whole house is room. Okay. Well, there she goes. We technically opened the door, right? We opened everything. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? No. Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. 
Who Who's that? He? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. I look like an old man to you? Look just like a person, like like of just I don't know, average age. You could describe him a little more generously. We couldn't even see their face. Hidden item, insomnia, there's always one somewhere. No more. I can't eat anymore, I'm stuffed. What? Oh, boss is sleep talking. I missed that up there for some reason. Wait. So, what does the boss have to do with this? What's this? What? Day one date be acquired. So is that an item that we can now look at? Find a hidden collectible to get concept art. One per Somnium. Wait, how do I look at... Whoops. I just took a video clip. There we go. Read information about people you've spoken to. You got an album photo. Find hidden items are clear in a Somnium with more than one second remaining. What? More than one sec- so we have time- we, we're on a time limit for each of these? But doesn't that mean if there was no more than one second remaining we would fail it anyways? That's a uh, interesting looking glass. Evolver instead of a ro revolver. Oh, we missed something. Look, on the first one, unfortunately. Dang. Likes classic cars, curry, bonito, pelvises. What? Rika. Uh, advanced brain investigation squad. Okay. Oh, that's what Abyss stands for, huh? Doesn't like soft-boiled eggs, punk kids, and ghosts. Collects vintage magazines. Uh, reaction time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions. Hmm. Lost his eye six years ago, replaced it with the prosthetic eye which houses advanced artificial intelligence eyeball, yeah. Oh, also lost all his memories past six years ago. Dang. Well, see, that's clearly a, a reference to uh, Pillar 7, so these are all... Clearly, this is a very Grasshopper-inspired game. I don't know how I feel about an investigation game having a time limit, I'm gonna be honest. That's gonna feel a little stressful down the line. Uh, Iba is... <laughs> an Iba. Uh, likes insects, spiders, crustaceans, and one zero one zero 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 one. So what does that mean in binary? If we put that out, I'm gonna actually see if I can check. Let's see. This is why I love, uh, when I'm on console, it's so easy for me to just Google something. It's not a real time limit. Uh, that just seems to like add up to a specific number. I thought maybe it was going to be like a word or something. Hobby sneaks out of Date's eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief. I hope that's not true. Dislikes dirty jokes going outside the simulation. Um, skills hacking, fluoroscopy, 
fluoroscopy, voice imitation, 3D modeling. I was an autonomous artificial intelligence, usually takes shape of an eyeball, resides in his left eye socket. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we all know all that stuff. Mizuki, the murderer. She's only 12. Profession, 6th grader. Oh, it says Datain binary? Okay, that's cool. I guess whatever I googled that wasn't the right way to google that. Likes uh, Tonkotsu Ramen, who doesn't? Stu, Unagi. Is that eel? Is Unagi eel? Like the cooked eel? I'm trying to remember. It is, yeah, I had that actually. Unagi's interesting because it's the only fish I've had that doesn't really taste like fish. Like eel ta tastes more like a, like a land meat to me. I don't know if that's a, a common feeling about it, but that's, that's what unagi tasted like to me when I had it. It, it, it was the least fishy tasting fish I've ever had. Um, dislikes raw seafood, which would, that makes sense because she likes unagi <laughs> and it's like cooked and dislikes how Date holds chopsticks. Hobbies, breeding Cleone, collecting Adorabit merch. Okay. Studies martial arts, enjoys emotionally attacking Date. Mizuki is Renju Ukiura and Shoku Narami's daughter, although she's not related to Date. He became her de facto guardian four years ago. The two have lived under one roof. Is this stuff that I should be knowing right now? I almost wonder if I'm getting, uh, if I'm spoiling some stuff by reading. Should I stop this for now? Maybe read this later? Doc says, mmm, land meat. Sword says Cleone are sometimes called sea monkeys. Ah. Also known as brine shrimp, right? Oh, they're, they're not spoilers? Okay. Okay, so here's the girl who was uh, murdered, unfortunately. Profession, investment company representative slash director. So she was probably rich. Likes to be envied and pre- Well, there you go, right there. Um, this like someone who hurt her in the past. Not that, not that every rich person likes to be envied and praised, but I think that kind of just, uh, synergizes with the uh, hobbies winery tours scandinavian furniture collection and pilates she just sounds like sylvia skills lying and cheating oh my god she i mean it's that it's never good when someone's murdered at all but i'm i'm getting slowly less sympathetic <laughs> towards this character Overview, Shoku is the ex-wife of Renju Okiura and Mizuki's mother. On a Friday night in November, she was found on the merry-go-round in the defunct amusement park known as Bloom Park. Her left eye socket was hollowed out. Yeah, Pilates, right? Isn't that what I said? I know what that is. It's kind of like, isn't it like a more mild form of yoga, basically? Boss. Wow, she's 42, she doesn't look it. Oh wow, it just it was almost her birthday not that long ago too. We're just like a week off, less than a week. Commander of Abyss, the special investigation team of the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh likes wine, gourd dolls, anything black. Is she goth? Dislikes happy families. What? Ex-boyfriends, MPD's director, decluttering and organizing. La hobbies going to clubs and kabukicho. Uh, skills grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. Oh my god. Uh, overview boss is Date's direct superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing, op uh, almost an optometrist. Optimist with a carefree attitude, but she's as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. Alright, so there's all the characters we have so far.
Oh, there's one more book here too. You know what that means, don't you, Jay? I don't know if I want to know what that means. Look at Abyss, I knew it. I knew how it was pronounced before they elaborated. Um, and this one's clearly pronounced a true, like you sneezed. These are just, yeah, these are just a bunch of phrases that we probably don't really need to go into detail for. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, Kabukicho is an area of Shujinku known for the nightlife. We, we went through Shujinku a lot when I was in Japan. Like that's just a very, I guess if you're around the Tokyo area, you're gonna go through Sh uh, Sh Shinjuku, whoops. Did I say Shujinku? Whatever, maybe, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's forget it. Let's just keep moving. There's a gun on the floor. A gun came out of the skull? Better investigate first. Why is there a gun in this house? Uh, Shinjuku is... Shinjuku? I think Shinjuku was the one we were going through. I think I just, for some reason, my, I just said it completely wrong for some reason. This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Those are very small grenades. Who did you hear that from? Look, I can't even pronounce English words correctly half the time. I don't know how I'm supposed to learn another language. A gun. It won't go off. Why did you try to pull the trigger? It should be fine. Oh, she's saying it won't go like she's asking. I thought she was saying, huh, it won't go off. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. She's already gone mad with power. She's only had the gun for a second. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. Uh, Dirty Harry? Alright, let's check this door out now. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in keyhole, sure. Why not? Do you think something this size would fit? It's a dream, it why not? If you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose. Wow, it actually worked. I see. The gun was the key. Sword, I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Jay, pop quiz to see if you're smarter than the people behind Smash TV. How many heads does Cerberus have? Uh, two, right? Wait, does Cerberus have two or three? I don't remember. See, now I'm an idiot. Does have three heads? I, I literally, like, played Hades not that long ago. I still don't remember. So, bad question. I'm, I'm just as dumb as them, apparently. I don't remember. It's either two or three. Cause I know that uh, Ghidorah has three heads from Godzilla. Um, it seems I was key in helping us escape. See, here's the thing, fact. You were making a joke as if like, here, this will make you feel better, Jay. Here's a thing that everyone knows that you, that you want to be too dumb, and I, I still kind of oh, get it right. That's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. All right. I'll open it. I can't. I can't remember what I'm thinking of that has two heads though. There's the supposedly old man. another murdered person
He still didn't look that old. But to be fair, there is a... Uh... Look, there, there's a lots of different forms of intelligence, right? That, I guess... I should have known that. There is no... Like, I would say, like, okay, that is, like, informational intelligence where you, you would need to have that information. But I had the information. I should have known that Cerberus had three heads. So I kind of don't have an excuse there. But anyways, it's day two Saturday. Saikai. Saikai? Is that Saturday in, in Japanese? Do all the days in Japanese end with I? And that's how they're like working that in for, with, with the days of the week. We're at the police headquarters now. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Uh-huh. Um, if you were making a game that prominently featured mythological figures and creatures, it would be the kind of thing you would make sure you would get right, though, yes? Yeah, I mean, if it was in that case, I would definitely, uh... I would look I would make sure to look into that, yeah. Well, how many heads did they give Cerberus? Like one head? Did they make it like a normal just like a dog? Shelves. Bags. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Oh. Why? It's November. Cabinet. Do they just do, like, general costume parties all the time? Oh, they did give it one head? What the heck? Are you sure it just wasn't a dog named Cerberus? It wasn't supposed to be the actual Cerberus? They use that Cerberus design as a reference to Megami Tensei novel that the original Megami Tensei game was based off of, where it was described as such. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. Okay. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Alright. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Okay, so she really likes RC racing? <laughs> soccer ball? Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. How about a volleyball? Oh, she has nothing to say about the volleyball. Like, it's weird that where the, how the green text works, because I already said it before, but sometimes all that it that's left when you click on it again is just uh, what you've already been told. A flag with a big catch on it. Oops. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. Super Mario? He said, I'm the guard dog of Hades. He's a uh, good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He just said it's me, Mario. He talks? <laughs> I wanted to hear him say it again. Dang it. It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. Do you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack oh, can up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. 
Yeah. <clears throat> I Tanukis have sort of uh, weird things going on. I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Always amused by boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. I wonder if she does it on purpose. How does that sound dirty? She likes her coffee smooth and dark. I mean, I guess she could set it in a sultry way, but I mean, she just really likes coffee. You don't need to have such a dirty head about everything, Date. There's the green goblin's pumpkins. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Pumpkin. A bookshelf. Books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What is she doing here? Obviously everything except work. <laughs> Computer on her desk, type it as a monitor built in. Oh, those are like old computers, right? Like school computers? Birthday party was a while ago. Electronic Why dark skin. This? So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Have fun expecting inspecting the rest of the boss's office for the remainder of the stream. Is it really like that much? You're joking. There is a lot, but it's not gonna take that long. Freaking triangular ruler. In fact, did you get excited when you saw that or did you get a flashback? Uh, hey Otto. I like my coffee fluffy and with a tail. Hmm. Hmm. Are you familiar I don't with the think that's how you have coffee. Boy band poster. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Oh god. Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. <laughs> Why are there symbols? I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. Uh oh. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. She just bangs them together? You didn't use this kind in school? I thought you did all the big math. Just so you know, the objects have different dialogue every time. I'm not gonna look at them all again. One time's enough for me, thanks. Wait, there's a Christmas tree, and there's a happy birthday, and there's jack-o'-lanterns. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every yeah, it's year, It's only right? been two days. It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. It's been here since the first time I was in this room. Big trees are, are very convenient, though. Public bath door curtain. A map. Mask. Other mask. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to cover his whole face. Date. I think you're right, Date is maybe not the sharpest uh, tool in the shed. Death mask, like in freaking Twilight Zone, where the father is like, where puts the mask on and he makes all his kids wear masks as well. Restaurant, Silver Restaurant Door Curtain. Why does she have all this stuff? Okay, I think we... Pretty much up almost. A lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. That's pretty much everything. Up chair. Wait, desk. Stickers all over the front. Oh great, now we gotta check out the stickers. No? Wait. Oh, we never saw the tombstone. Rip. The door. The entrance. Oh, 
Oh wait. Aha. Of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. She's like an onion. Trushkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. That was surprisingly deep. And we almost missed it, too. And there's a large key. Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Kaname. The kanji for key can be read, read as Kaname. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Wait, why is your name Kaname, but it's not your real name, but people call you Date, which is also not the name. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, about that case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? You didn't elaborate on. The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... His real name is Travis Touchdown. Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm she guessing that she was anything. personally connected to that crime, and that's why she, like... It came up, but then she doesn't want to actually that go into it. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. Are they dead and or in prison? So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Can I look at the necklace on this thing? Okay, it doesn't go into detail about that. About that case six years ago. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. See, now that just that just settles even if it. You took me to the finest club in Kabuki Cho and showered me in Dom P. My lips are sealed. Dom P is like a really fancy wine, right? Like, but why, boss? I'm having to crank up the AC so much. This is ridiculous. Oh, really? It's actually hot where you are. That's funny. It's actually pretty chilly here. It, it's been raining too. It's gonna rain like all week. So I guess we are. Uh, you're gonna. You're. You're kind of taking on what my weather is most of the year. Why do you need such intense Animal Crossing? It's top secret. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. About that case six years ago. Give it ago. a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. What? You can't do that. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Oh my god. Oh. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. Oh. I can detect your thoughts, remember. Oh no. Thank you for your input, Iva. Oh god, now I'm scared to ask again. What's gonna ha- are we gonna get the bad end? Right, screw it. Just... Promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue. Even more delicate than my patience. Okay. So that's an order. Understood. All right, I'll drop it. Um, you haven't cleaned this place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all Wait, the time. Wait, why are we six stories underground? So, I try to make my in own. In the future, did the like things up a little. But the tall buildings in Tokyo aren't even enough anymore, so now they have to start, like, digging underground to fit more. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss? Met I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. Wow, we I've don't know? I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Maybe that's her name, just like a 
I think there's a Hamtaro character named Boss. They just Trust call me, him Boss. More than six years. I've suffered from a, me a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. She said it's been more than six years. So that means we've been working for her before we lost our memory. But I'm surprised she wouldn't have told us that already within the past six years. And I mean flashbacks to recently, fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, huh. so, nothing to report then. Got it. Back said, I don't know a lot about Tokyo, but six stories underground in a, colo a coastal city sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, that does seem kind of sketchy. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. I think we are her legal guardian. The girl we found in the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old. Yep, yep, we read about this. Uh, we live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. But Rinju Okiru. That's the girl who got murdered, Rinju right? Yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. Oh, no. Then who's Renju again? He's not a suspect yet. Just standard procedure stuff. Better, you're her e illegal guardian. Oh, that's the ex-husband, right. Because I remember we did read about uh, Renju, I just forgot who they were. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. Wait, the why is no one suspecting the 12-year-old? That was like, she was literally result. holding the weapon. What the heck? Local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. And only her prints were found on it, but we know it was, wasn't her. <sighs> Damn. Twelve-year-olds can't do anything. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Yeah. Almost definitely. About the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? Oh, it's illegal for 12-year-olds to murder her. You, you got a good point the there. I should have thought of that. Hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. There we go. No. She caught time. That's impossible. Now this is real justice. We need to throw her in the slammer and then toss out the key. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? By the way, you may notice that on YouTube it says that this is like the sequel game. The only reason is because if I try to set it to this game, it doesn't pop up for some reason. So I hope people aren't getting clickbaited right now. Watch, I'm gonna try again right now actually. AI, the Somnium. Yeah, the only one that comes up is Nirvana Initiative 2022, so. That's, that's as close as I could get. I don't know why the first one's not listed. It's so weird. And apparently Fax said that my, my Bayonetta review auto-listed as being Bayonetta 3, which I thought was funny. Because I didn't set it to that. Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. 
I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? Hey Jay, guess what the second game has? Um, bosses? Boss rush mode? It's part of I the reason know. why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. She looks like a near character, doesn't she? Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Uh -huh. Since you don't have a cell phone. That's funny, we don't have a cell phone. No, it's something you like more than bosses. It's, what do I like more than bosses? Um, a guiding laser? It's linear? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Starts with a D, ends with a Y. Um, what do I like more than bosses that starts with a D and ends with a Y? Mm, I honestly can't think of what you're what you're saying. Something I like. Oh, is your eye okay? Nope, apparently not. Oh, it really does. Go out and cause mischief. I thought that that was just a joke. Rhymes with Tommy? God damn it, fuck. Is it Dommy? Is that what it starts with? Is that what you're trying to get Hello. me to say, fuck? Um Hello. No, not hello. <laughs> I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Otto, please don't encourage him. <laughs> please. Um, okay. About Iba, about I, about my eye, about I. Uh, what? Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't so all of those options would have led to the same thing, right? Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. It's interesting they haven't put a correlation to the fact that he's missing that eye, and then the lady who got murdered is now missing that same eye. You can thank Pewter for that. I don't think we need a J soundboard sword. I, I, I disagree with that. Oh, never mind. They all lead to different hey, things. so... About my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Hey, what does love mean to you? What is love, baby? Don't Where hurt me from? no more. Just answer the question. Huh. 
Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You <laughs> dork. That dork. Hurts, you know. Wow. She just, uh... Called you a dork, Peck, because I know you you do those I've been jokes. A lot lately. I know you're a pun myself, boy. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Oh. Where's Iba? Oh, there's Iba. Who are you? We know who Iba is. That's funny that I'm gonna ask anyways. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. I can't read the right option because the uh can we make those extra options go away? It's kinda weird. Oh well. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. I don't know if you are or not, because I don't know what I just said to you. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? Oh, are you cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Dang, that's messed up. I was really concerned about being seen as cute. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? One day I got called in the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. Are we gonna get a flashback? The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. Wait a minute, did they just say AI Ball? So... Okay. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective. Oh, you have a sticker? I was just gonna ask if they ever did any like merch with that character, because I could see it even being like a stuffed animal or something. Or like a little figure at least. It does look like a freaking Pokemon character, huh? Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. A Wadget? Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your I don't personal like how computer. Smirky he is. Like he's his computer. his smile is like it's it's reaching Grinch levels. Okay, back inside. No. Oh, I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. Wow. You said you could talk to yourself. Okay. How do you do that? What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date. But that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. She just said, you can shut up now. Huh? You have? Same way you talk to the boss and... Oh. I don't know which... Anyways, Iba has important things used. to tell us. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Is this some kid? Matsushita Ota. Oh. 24 years old. Man. They look 12. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. 
You also look like a gamer. We all know that Dante. gamers are never up to any good. Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Use both. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting that you can, uh. Well, I don't have the cursor right now. I think it's because, like, naturally, I feel like like right would be moving the cursor because I think like my mouse hand is my right hand. Um, I think that's why I keep goofing that up by accident. Uh, hello. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. Wow. Who are you? My name is Konami Date. I work as a special. Oh, agent. Konami Date is his full name. I see. MPD. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. Are you okay? Yeah, I was just about to ask. Are they just just sitting there watching him talk to himself? Perhaps it's time for his medication. It's me. I don't think I'll ever get used to seeing myself with my own eye. It's creepy. Okay, so that's why. Oh, okay, so the the diamond is is what we're seeing out of Iba, and so that's why we could see herself like that. Oh, despite everything, it's it's still me. Right, 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 right. Whoops. All right, so now we want to use the map. We want to go to that diner, I guess. I could go for a... Apparently I'm hungry. I, I don't actually remember the last time I ate. I think really early this morning because my stomach's growling. I'm going to have to eat something after this. Hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, all right. I'll come back later. Oh, I'm not a customer. They just invented this great new thing called lunch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, I think I was going to eat before the stream, and then I got distracted. And then I forgot. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Her shirt's a hipster. I flashed my badge. Oh heavens, no! I is my boy? That's right. Your son's been murdered by me. I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She's so worried. And you're Ota's. His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Ota Senior. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down? <laughs> yeah. It's a very pretty knife, but could you, uh, maybe. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I didn't even know she was holding a knife because it was, like, so decorated, I guess. Let's look at it. Something is engraved on the handle. Can we zoom in on it? There we go. Kitchen knife. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Aww. That's cute. Oh, I Ota wanted to look at the pattern more. For Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Oh, isn't she just a a nice, caring mother? Kuroda Kazuaki's cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds mm. like.
Oh, you can't actually like turn that part of the image, I guess. See, it's weird that it's green still. I feel like once you've had like the little dialogue exchange, they need to like make the green go away because there isn't really any more to it than that. A large jellyfish. Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. A large jellyfish. They do kind of look like jellyfish, I suppose. Beer ads. cute. Oh my god, that's You have zero standards, Kanane Date. Is Iva jealous because she, she didn't say she, he didn't say she was cute? What the hell? Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? We should all try that and see if it works. Old CRT you television. Think that gets any channels? Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. What the heck? What's it? What's it do there? That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. This place must have been open for a while. Who? Hey, you got a lucky cat ornament for Christmas? Well, you better meow at it so you could have good fortune. Family photo, huh? Mayumi and Ota, when they were younger. The other person appears to be Ota's father. Hmm. Let's see. Where's your husband? I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. Now is this the truth, or has the husband actually been out of the picture for a while and she's in denial? This is nothing new. Uh, uh, is Ota here? That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, uh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. The video game arcade? What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Okay. What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does he hang out there? <sighs> because there's a god. Oh no! No! A what? Ota says it all the time. A god. No! <laughs> He's not one of those, uh. He watches, like, VTubers and stuff, right? More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Ma'am, your son needs help. Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. Oh no, I think I was there? right. The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. You don't understand, Bob. She's my waifu. She's worth the world to me. Where's that box at? Want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any it's gonna be a decided? anime figurine, isn't it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible sucky. I knew it. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Let's see. Date, there's a paper slip on that cardboard box. Why not try enlarging the image? The sender is. Great grin. Great grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, solid model. 
We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Chris learned that a tutorial x-ray was... Oh. It is! Oh, my God. Oh, now, no. What is this? A solid PVC model of a person known as a figure. Oh, no. Well, I didn't want to judge the guy by looking at uh, the way he dresses, but, um, yeah. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Um. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Hmm. A play on good smile. But what is good smile? I think I know about the set thing. Because isn't that like, they have like little uh, contest raffles. I, I don't know what you would call it, but you you go into a convenience store and you, you buy like a raffle ticket and you have a chance to win the, the A prize, B prize, C, D, E, F. Like I'm sure Sword knows what I'm talking about. And um, you, you buy the raffle and most likely you're gonna get the, the cheapest one, but there's a chance you could win a really good prize. Is that not what it is? I thought that's what it was referring to. Oh, her name is just Asa. Okay. Well, never mind then. Because uh, I when when we were in Japan, I was in a convenience store and I saw some anime thing that I knew that Mike liked. I can't remember what it is, so I can't even throw him I, under the bus of whatever the anime was. I can't even rem remember honestly, but it was uh, some anime thing. And I saw all this stuff for it, and I was like, oh, cool. Um, I'll try to get them, like, you know, just, like, the cheap thing. And I didn't know how it worked. I just wanted to buy the cheap thing. And 90% of the time when I was... You're in, like, Tokyo especially. People are very English-friendly. And they're very friendly in general. And they're very uh, nice and helping, like, people at stores and, and restaurants and stuff. But this one convenience store was being ran by this, like, teenager, and he just looked like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, he, he didn't want to be there, and he was also just, like... He had this confused, baffled look on his face the whole time that there was people there that didn't speak Japanese. He didn't... I don't think he said a word to us the entire time. But I walked up with the, like, the littlest prize. I didn't know it was a prize at the time. I was just trying to buy it. And he just like pointed at like a thing that I, the raffle that I had to buy. And I was like, okay. So I bought the raffle and I, and I paid for it. And then like he handed it to me and I was like, I don't know what to do with it. So I handed it back to him and he just like peeled it off. And then he pointed at the little thing that I was holding, which was like the smallest prize. I don't know. It was, it was a really funny experience. Just like the whole, uh, the whole exchange was really awkward. It says Mayumi's black sauce. But okay, that's just her idol name. Gotcha. I thought I was applying my my Japanese experience to what I was seeing there, but it was all off. A swinging door. Swinging door. So is this witch working there? She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not Witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the Witch. <laughs> All right, I'm getting nowhere. Let's just show up and say, "Is the Witch here, please?" She doesn't remember the talent or the company. But isn't A set also like uh, when you when you buy food at at a, at, at a Japanese uh, restaurant or a fast food place, they'll have the A set, the B set, the C set. So maybe she is named after A set. Maybe that's what she's named Even after. I, I don't know. Yeah. I might have been conflating uh, the figure huh? prize thing and the ordering a meal. Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? 
Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. Hmm. You can abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Ooh, call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. Uh, there is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. Jeez. That would be unsanitary as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Right. Date. I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. Okay. Oh, she's a musician. Like right, right, because an idol. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? At least she's not in a group with 20 members and they all just dance. And it's like... Sorry, I don't want to be mean, but I just don't get the uh, whole... Groups where there's like a hundred people... I, I don't know. It's ridiculous. I'm sure a single one would... Sorry, what? It's not like a single artist is necessarily going to be any better, but it's just... It just feels like the most... Uh, there's nothing wrong with dancing, but it's just... 99% of the time, those groups were clearly manufactured just to make money. That's all it is. And like, as someone who really loves music, it's just... It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And I know, like, they literally have, like, K-pop boot camps where they, like... You send your kid there and you, they just mold you into a K-pop idol and it's just... I don't know, it's disgusting to me. But I'm sure there's groups out there that are fine. I repeat, Lemniscate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh... Excuse does the name Lemniscate ring a bell? Not for me. What the heck's a Lemniscate? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Alright, guess we can leave now. About this idol. She mentioned a box. We already looked at the box. I guess we're done here then. Alright, I guess we're going to Lemminskate. Based off the hit video game Lemmings. A Lemniscate is the name of the infinity symbol. Oh, I thought it was just infinity. I mean, you don't need to say one is the one symbol, it's just one. Two is two symbol, it's two. So why would infinity need to have a special name? Him. Correct. Ah, there he is. Matsushita? Your Captain America shields on your jacket. Who are you? I'm a detective. You're under arrest for the murder of Shoko. It's like the difference between saying an ampersand and an and. Uh, yeah, I guess I see what you mean. I I was kind of thinking of that. I guess just because infinity... I guess you usually think of infinity as a number, but I guess infinity is more of a concept anyways. But, yeah, and then there's like different inf versions of infinity, like some infinity is bigger than others. Because there's like... There's an infinite number of of numbers between the number one and two. Because like 1.1456, 1 1.2, 4, 5, you know, there's an infinite amount of numbers between one and two. But then there's also an infinite amount of numbers between one and, you know, just going up forever. And then there's like negative infinity. Infinity is just such a weird concept. Interesting. A manifold is the cool S symbol. Wait a minute, the S that kids would, would like carve into school desks and like graffiti into the like textbooks and stuff? I thought it was just called the S. There's an infinite amount of numbers between one and two, but none of them are three, right? 
Um, I'm from the MPD. Anyway, where were we? The police? Yes, you're under arrest for simping too hard. Your simp levels have far exceeded the allowed amount. Promotional videos of the agency's talent. Playing. Nothing dirty though. This isn't that kind of company. You say that, but I'm pretty sure there's just enough to, as, as the mother would say, be a, attempting, uh, whatever she said, seductress, succubus. Lots of magazines in that rack. How to take a girl home in just two minutes? Well, oh, D Date is actually interested in it. Of course he is. Vending machine full of drinks. A plant. Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession. Wow, she sense. really likes bugs. Uh, I don't know about that one, Otto. Oh, is that not... Was I given false information? You're the police? It goes back to playing uh, RuneScape or whatever the kids do nowadays. So far a sofa. It's a sofa. Okay, was that supposed to be a pun? What is that supposed to be? I do not know. <laughs> it's abstract. That's the point. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? Oh my god. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. I know, it's probably expensive. It's actually a pretty small laptop, ain't it? I don't know, it's hard to tell from this angle. A kid at school said so. Was it a nerd, though? He just has, has I, geek on his laptop. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? Sword, I don't know what soundboard you're crafting, but you need to... You need to cool your jets. Your then you're probably right. Alright. Uh, could you look at me? No. Wow. I'm kinda busy right now. Yeah, I'm sure you are. What are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? He's typing his ASIT fanfiction. Most likely, where he has self-inserted himself. Are you a fan of ASIT? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that is highly illogical. Can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, let's have a look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution oh, of Law no. Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hit the most. Punch him? Why is that my only option? Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick that. <laughs> I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Oh no. What? I don't like that he's... He, they bring up his medication so much and how he needs to take more. Listen to me, Date. That's worrying. What are they giving him? Otis PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh no. Here we go. Do we want to see this? What the... Does Tessa refer to Asa? Uh... He's talking to like four people at once, apparently. Your pathetic dude, stop white knighting for this chick. I will protect her from scum like you. Oh my god. Oh god. I've heard sex like a million times by now. This is just the internet. 
that we're looking at right now. Nickname for her. I would never think about Aisa like that. She's a goddess. Oh god. Oh boy. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. I mean, there is a picture of him there. Oh wait, let's read his little profile. A young, up-and-coming, super genius author. Multiple award winner. Tessa's future husband. <laughs> okay, hang on. There's a profile pic that says, uh, Pongo, uh, Ponko? Author orangutan? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> the whole description and then there's optical protein fiber i think he's arguing with a with a a freaking uh granola bar company or something oh that's a real twitter account However, oh no that Ota is the one that's cool i like when they do uh well. what do they call that like expanded reality type stuff i forget what, you, what they call it what wait a minute Oh, no, he's making dummy accounts to argue with, so to, like, make himself look better. Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota sub-accounts. Oh, no. We can't even read the KG one, really. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet, or false flagging. Oh god. This kid is pathetic. Oh, this is what he's sitting in here doing. Wasting his time. Oh, this is so sad. Like it would be one thing if he's just arguing with other people online, but he's just arguing with himself. Hey kid. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I always heard the term alt account. I've never heard it as sub account. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Alright. Uh, when did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Right, protecting her. It's because Oda is a sub. Oh god damn it, Fak. Why do you keep doing this to me? Hey Mizmo, welcome. Is this discount Persona? I have no idea. I don't have... I can't compare to Persona because I've never played it. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings? Even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? Oi. The sad part is you know that there's actually people who do this stuff too. I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemnusgate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Hmm. So you just kind of uh, stalk her all day, basically. That's your routine. This is Gourmet Danganronpa. Mizmo said, what's Danganronpa? Oh, Fak will tell you all about that. He's an expert. I'm going to ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me. Or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy. Okay, okay. I'll talk. Just shh. All right, we'll talk. 
I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Oh no, don't tell me you got tricked. Did you get catfished by someone who said they were A-set? Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Um... Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscape. Do you know her? Uh... Aren't you like 20-something? Yeah, I know her. Why were you meeting with her? I, I hope it was only relating to this stuff, even though that's still weird. I never analyzed this stuff back here. Okay, those are the receptions with huge breasts sitting, of course. I don't know how he noticed that from this far away, but... Right. Wait, why does it keep... Why is it green still? Huge bre... Okay. Okay. Date clearly... <laughs> okay. It's devolved from... There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk, too. There's just huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Well, at least if he's going to be pervy, it was funny about it. I don't think Aiba would, would uh, allow Date to zoom in just for that. She's just a friend. Yes, she better be. What? Why do you care? I know you look 12, but you're not, buddy. Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Yeah, don't call it that. <laughs> Please. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? Yeah, what work? I write light novels. Oh boy. Really? What's your pen name? Um Jacob Candle. Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Mm. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. You're you're too quick at lying. Yeah, that bothers hey, Mota, me. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. Oh no. I'm an aspiring author to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Can't believe she's helping you with whatever the heck you're writing. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Like WhatsApp or something? Thank you for elaborating on that. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Please, Mizmo, no. I hope not. Well, the stories he writes, he's like, tries to make it seem like... Ah, what a, I don't know. I wonder what the stories he writes, but when he was... Fake arguing with himself on Twitter. Hmm, line? What's like line? I don't know what line is. I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Oh boy. God, he is tiny. For his age. Well, 
Line as a messaging app? Is it like popular in Japan? I've never heard of that one. Because WhatsApp is uh, actually pretty popular in uh, in a lot of Asian countries. I've never heard of Line though. Did you leave her did there? You leave her there? Yeah, apparently he did. You left a twelve-year-old girl by herself. Oh, it's the most popular instant messaging app in Japan, Taiwan, and Thailand. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode, like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Uh. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She, she said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. Yeah, her roommate, which is us, right? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Well, Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park. Just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. Surprised we didn't try try that already. Yes, he's telling the truth. Hey Ota, what are you doing? Uh, um Tessa! Oh, here she is. Pink hair and everything. And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD. What's the straight up cutscene? He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Even better, I'm an anime detective. What is that, her theme song? Uh oh. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Oh no, not you too, please. Is something the matter? No, nothing. I'm subtly feeling the urge to buy her merchandise. Are you a set? Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. What? Um, thread? Silhouette? A set. What? Fears. What's shadows? Threat? Silhouette? A set. They all rhymed, but a shadow could be a threat. A shadow could be a silhouette. But how is a shadow an A-set? Uh, upset, regret, A-set. Fear, upset, regret, but then A-set. Water! Wet, sweat, A-set. So it has to, it has to rhyme with A-set. <laughs> Yay! A-set, you bet! That's a little, uh, of a self-centered game if the game has to rhyme with your own name every time. Hey guys, let's play the J game. Uh, 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 food. I can't think of any food that rhymes with J. Oh well, we tried. Magnetic currents in the atmosphere. How old are you? Let me guess. 19. I 
18 Eight. this year. Okay, well. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I think he's good at that. He's just kind Don't of a... Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh. <laughs> I meant Ota. Wait. You were gonna make a move on me? Why, why is he so, so excited about it? What's happening? What's your relationship with Ota? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. <sighs> her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Wow. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Oh boy, so his his little thing is actually working, huh? Stop! You're making me blush. This guy. Hey, want to know a little something about those arguments he has online? What if we just completely? Oh no! We could throw him under the bus. Oh. Oh, it's too awkward. I don't know if I could do it. Should I? It's cringy. I'll ask about the friends thing first. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... We live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. Why is she going out so much as like a, just a 12 year old without, if we're supposed to be her guardian? So We should probably so know what she's been doing and going to, times. man. You're not being a very good guardian. Mismo says do it. Alright. Mismo said we have to. Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winner. Oh! Wait! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. <laughs> Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. Oh boy, making him sweat. Something wrong? You aren't even blinking. Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm just getting angry. Oh, are you? Are you a fan of mine? Wow, they really just let okay, you keep going. Now I'm getting a little freaked out. You can stop staring now. Why do they let you keep going? Yeah. Okay. This game is lets you take things way too far. Um. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... If you were, like, f friends with someone, technically, like, even if they're, like, a celebrity or famous, and you get to hang out with them, why would you even, like, buy their merchandise? I feel like the experience of being in around them and hanging out with them would be more valuable. My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? So you... You're on drugs, basically. She's an exceedingly powerful 12 year old, because Date kind of sucks. She's actually a 700 year old dragon stuck in the body of a 12 year old anime girl. Um, did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um. Let me guess, he said that he was heroic. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Hmm. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? 
It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Mm. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. We're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Uh... Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Well, she's not exactly the witch that the mother was Ota, describing. I think she's just kind of huh? oblivious. Just do it! What? Uh... Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! What? I can't imagine uh... you without you! What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, good question. Ota, did you get it? Okay, oh, never mind. Uh, she is manipulative. Yeah. I, th I was giving her the benefit of the doubt, but uh... Nope, she knows exactly what she's doing. The hell was that? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder what would happen if this little video. Wow. Was the you wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little. Wow. Man, I don't want to see what he says about it. No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Oh, <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Wow, good pun there. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Gate. A thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductive. Yeah. Uh-huh. Rather an inappropriate smile on her face given those circumstances. Alright, well, do we, can we leave now? Oh yeah, we, we are just leaving. They always just, I guess they point you in where the right direction you're going so you don't waste time just going to different places, huh? That's good, I guess. Wow. Let's see. It's going to be Walter time pretty soon. Uh, I could continue playing after Walter time, or we could stop. Um, guess it depends on if everyone's... Uh, this car isn't domestic. It's made in Australia, so the steering wheel is on the right side. What? But in Japan, the steering wheels are on the right side. That's because they also drive on the left side of the road. What? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought he was pointing out that it was on a different side. It just seemed kind of weird to specify that. And Indians use the left, too. What? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. Indians use the left, too, but you didn't... 
say an example of someone who uses the left to begin with. I'm gonna assume that's just kind of a weird translation thing. Um, these part, these types of games are probably the hardest to translate for though because there's just so much dialogue. I think the Silver case took a long time to come out in the U.S. because of that. No, in Australia they they have they drive on the right side. Fact, he just said that. He said this car isn't domestic. It's from Australia, which is why the steering wheel's on the right side. Uh, which is how we drive. And then he said, Indians drive on the left too. But they never mentioned anyone that drive on the left before. Hmm? Well, no, that was the whole point. I was like, is I thought it was weird because he said that they drive on the right side. Oh, I thought they meant the left side of the car. I got confused. Okay, I get what you guys are saying now. Well, see, he should have said left side of the street. He got me mixed up because we were talking about inside the car. All right, anyway, uh, why did you become an idol? Well, I, guess I guess it was because some companies wanted to make lots of money. Also, hey, uh, Double O and Joe. I always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? An e-celeb? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Uh-oh. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Knight? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the oh, terrain Minecraft. and structures. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. He plays Minecraft out of everything? Okay. What I guess it's a good way to get a lot of viewers. Not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Mm. Most famous on TikTok. Uh, yeah. How'd you start working? Well, at first, all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniske? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. Hey, I speed ran Minecraft on April Fools, I think this year or last year. I beat all I beat Minecraft in only one stream. Can you believe it? And it was only like two hours long. Started getting offers from drug dealers. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. But anyway. One day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. Mm. Why do you ask? It's interesting this time we're actually in the car, like, not just teleported right there. I guess because there's other people in the car, so... Or she's in the car with us, at least. You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... Special. Oh, he's special, all right. That's a good word. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Hmm. She sounds like she signs contracts without readying. Um, 
No, I feel like she maybe knows a little better than that. She seems like the manipulative type. So I don't think she would be one for getting manipulated. I could be wrong, but... Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I'm a cleaner. Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Didn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Wait, how are we not a detective? We literally do detective right. work. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Oh, great. Whoa, whoa hold up now. How do we know she's gonna delete that well, thing? Well, then tell me! You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Uh, that's chill. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just kidding! Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm part of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. Oh, God. I <laughs> hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Right. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Why couldn't we just lie? That's the easiest choice, Date. Yes, I am a detective. I was kidding before. Advanced it's not like she would know any better. Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. Yeah, let's trust the girl who took a, a video of us to try to, you know, just blackmailing us, basically. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Okay. Very specific god to uh, By the way, swear to. I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Oh, okay. Well, funny. Iris Sagan. Mm -hmm. I know. Weird, right? Hmm, your name's Iris. I have an eyeball. Are we having a flashback from before we uh, lost our memories? Mm -hmm. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. Hmm. And we're going back to where we started. Yeah, I'd be willing to play more, especially because I know this is a longer game. So I am going to have to try to do longer streams probably when I can. Is it? Oh, I thought it was loading. So let me just, um... Excuse me. You can... Let me just save real quick. I'm glad you could save during cutscenes. That's useful. Alright, so I will do the Walter stuff. And I will be back very soon
I feel like whatever damage the blackmail could do is not worth taking a little girl to an active crime scene. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I will tell Walter that you said hi. Because I know you're his biggest fan.
You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed.
Yo, yo, sorry. That took a little long. Sorry, I was making my mom's coffee for work, so I might have taken a little longer than I expected. But now we're back. Walter's good. Just ate and went out. It's still, it's raining lightly. Um, so, he went, oh, I don't know if he went poop, but, uh, hey, Luke, welcome. Yeah, it's funny how Sword is, like, Walter's biggest fan. Wait. Oh, the controller was turned off. I was wondering what was going on there. That's right. That's right. You're under and arrest. Girl. She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. She's um, a little weird. Well, I have some good news for you, Sword. Walter is real. Now, that may not be good news for everyone, but I know it's good news for you. Detective, huh? Mm -hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. Yep, you've solved the case. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around. Stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination, but do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Why do you think this was a ritual murder? The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? She's a she's obsessed with Egyptian gods, isn't she? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. But according to Bayonetta, the left eye. Isn't the left eye the one they keep bringing up? The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Oh, I that's see. That's just Sauron. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that's one of the things we found, remember? The Eye of Providence is supposed that was in to our be dream. the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. What did we see in our dream? It was a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a $1 bill. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? Left eye. You know, I'm surprised that as soon as we found out that Oda was with the girl, that we weren't like, so you witnessed, right? The body was already murdered before she got there. Like, why didn't he say that? Because I, the boss was literally saying how she, Mizuki's like the prime suspect. I, that would have been the first thing on my mind is to make sure there's a witness that's 
saw that she didn't do it. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait. I guess just... technically she could have done it before that he showed up since they were meeting up there. But the way that still as a detective, you sh I feel like that's something he should have asked. What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? Because it wasn't there when we arrived. The ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. When in doubt, assume Date's a fool. Did you finish up the side quests in Spider-Man? I did the um the uh, tombstone side quests. Iris spelled backwards is Siri. Oh, you're right. I never I thought about it like the truth. that. You would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Well, that wouldn't be my train of thought. I wouldn't think, like, we already were pretty sure that that was the murder weapon. Uh, my train of thought would have been like, oh, it was already in the eye before Mizuki got there, because then Mizuki took pulled it out later. But anyway, as you as you keep saying, Date is maybe not the brightest knife in the closet. When I was younger, but not since it closed, Kawasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kawasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical oh no. pollutants to contaminate the area. Walter just dropped one of his stuffed animals on the ground because he's a dummy. The government quickly issued evacuation. Because he's on my bed right now. Also, I forgot Floyd was under on my bed because Floyd's just been like laying in my bed all day under the blankets. So I put Walter on the bed and I left the room for a second to do my mom's coffee and then I heard Floyd barking. I was like, why is Floyd barking? And I came in and I forgot Floyd was on the bed. And poor Floyd was being harassed by Walter. I had to save Eventually, him. The entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was She's a gummy place. hamster, a gummy bear. But a oh, she does kind of look like a gummy. Much if there aren't something or another. Control it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they okay? No, know. they're all dead. But if anything happens to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. Gummy hamster and then picture of a porcupine. Or an emoji of a porcupine. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. All right. Why was she in there? I mean, she did just find her mother murdered. Now that we know that that's who that was. Uh uh uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? What sure. Are you talking yeah, about? that's exactly what we were thinking. How did you how did you know? Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh picking up Walter's Oh, whatever. I like bent my pink, pinky finger somehow, picking up his toy as I hooked the corner of the bed. I'm not going into detail, let's just focus on the game. What do you mean? Ouch, that hurt though. The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? I blame this on Walter. My partner. Your partner? 
I don't see anybody. She's in my head. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? She is your eye. Huh? I'm surprised she's not just like, elaborate now or I'll leak the video. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. You sure about that? It looks pathetic. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? Yeah, what? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. A panda equals a punishment in a game. What is she referring to does anyone know is that a phone booth rub walter's belly and he might reward you with treasures but well, it hasn't happened yet no it's the control room this is where the staff would run the merry-go-round i was joking but hey if you sense any trouble you can hop in there and change uh, How old are you, making that reference? Superman? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Oh, good point. She's not actually a teen, she just says that because she's manipulative and she knows that weirdos would prefer that. Wait, I have an idea. I wonder if we have her file in here, then we could see what her real age is. Oh, it says 18 now. High school senior internet idol, singing, dancing, the occult, irises, Mizuki. It's funny because we brought up the occult in our brain. Just like scary people. Hobbies, singing, dancing, let's plays, skills, runs extremely fast. She has the JoJo family secret. Um, Overview, Iris is an internet idol musician. Belonging to the entertainment office Lemonscape. Her stage name is Aset, but her fans call her Tessa. Oh, because Aset is an anagram of Tessa. I didn't get that till just now, seeing them next to each other. I was thinking, like, why is she called Tessa? She's a Tommy's daughter and good friends with Oda Mizuki. Although, do you have a very good nickname if people end up giving you a nickname aside from the nickname? I feel like maybe you didn't choose a great nickname in that case. Um, did this get updated to include the new picture? Uh, it's black and white bear, some sort of monochromatic bear, or a kuma, if you will, which means bear in Japanese. Oh, monokuma from you said this was the same publisher, right? This dude's a maid cafe manager. Likes unusual things, dislikes ordinary things. Enjoys songwriting. Oh, that's us. Oh, we've already seen that one, haven't we? Here we go. Light novel author, self-declared. Likes chocolate. Dislikes Tessa's enemies and preachy people. Net Idol's made cafes, of course. Cooking omelet rice, driving, sock puppeting. He drives? Well, he's already defeated me. I hate driving. Oda is Mayumi's son, an enthusiastic fo follower of Asa. Pushes the boundary between idols and fans. Writes his own light novels and gets editing advice from his friend Mizuki. I wonder if they're ever going to show... Uh, one of his well Aiba is the gummy bear you can see in the bottom left right there but she also has a different form that you see sometimes part-time worker 
Floral Patterns, Oda, Takedo. Dislikes Witches, everything that Witch does. Cleaning Stop, Making Soy Sauce. Obscure Puns. Sounds like you'd get along with her, fuck. All right, I was just curious. What am I doing now? Oh God. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. Why do they keep saying Han's wrong? Removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. We might as well just walk up there, since uh, she's up there. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? That's pretty cool that we have video of like stuff we've seen before. Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Right. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean. That must mean. Oh, uh, I don't know. Not Hans. 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 That must mean what? That she was killed somewhere else and then placed on the horse later. We should go. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Hey, you all right? Are you okay? Uh oh. Morning sickness. Are you what? pregnant? I'm kidding. Okay. It's not like I would know. Get on. Okay, but you I'll still give you fell a ride down. Home. What? Yes, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. Wow. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. <laughs> Your back is so warm, oh, Mr. No. Date. Oh, boy. I don't, I don't think you would say this is a JRPG. It's it's like a detective game, I guess. Because as far as I know, there's no like combat or anything. But who knows? I don't know. Could be. You know, I'm feeling kind of bored. Seriously? Because it's a dashboard. No wonder Fak likes this game. But why does Sword like this game? Well, there was a flashback where he saw... He knows her from when she was little, from what I can tell. And that, uh... But I don't know how. I don't think she could be his daughter because he's too young for that. He's only 30 and she's like 18 at least. Why are these types of games always so difficult to understand? Am I an uncultured swine jay? <clears throat> um, I mean, I don't think I know a lot of what's going on either, to be fair. Shame. She's faking it. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. 
What if I, I, I threw up so... right here? Okay, well that's good method acting. I would put it right back where it came from. Uh Ew. That makes me actually want to throw up. It's that's just called a uh she opened the window. That would be a uh a catch twenty two. If you throw up, they'll stick it back in your mouth. But that's making you have to throw up, but you don't want to do it because then he'll do that thing. Uh, hey Christmas Elf, welcome. Right, it's a mystery detective game. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, 60%. It is unlikely that he would be a factor. Hmm. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. What? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. Why are we going 100? <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. Oh, no. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're going to die soon? Yeah, which is it? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. Oh, 100 kilometers. I thought she said miles. Wait, 100 kilometers? Wouldn't that be even faster? Because isn't a kilometer... Wait, I, I always forget. How much... Isn't it like one kilometer is like three miles or something? Hang on. Oh no, a kilometer's less than a mile. It's like almost half. Okay. No, I'm thinking of meters, right? A meter is three feet. Otto says, oh man, I've got to find a car with windows. Otto, don't go driving 100 miles per hour with one hand sticking out the window. It feels like I've met you before. Same. Well, that's nice. That's nice. If you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. Dude, Tommy nice. Wiseau making a video game is Deadly Premonition. That is... Basically, that's what you would have gotten. Which is why I had to play the second one right when it came out. In that case, you literally would lose your, uh... You would lose your arm auto. You should come in. No, that's alright. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already? Wait, if she's older than she said, maybe we were like childhood friends or something. Ooh, who did we see? Who's that? She looks familiar, don't she? Oh, who is this, Iris? Yeah, I knew it. I knew we saw her. I'm kind of proud of myself for recognizing her. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. Stood there stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay.
Oh no, we're not the simp Christmas elf. We saw him earlier. She's not actually older than she said. That was a joke about knowing what a phone booth is making you old. See, I wasn't sure if that was a joke because even Iba said, like, that she didn't think she was... She, she thinks she lied about her age. And then also, like, it's not even just the phone booth thing, but she was making, like, an old Superman reference. Because she was referencing Superman flying into a... Well, running into a phone booth to change into his Superman clothes. Which, when's the last time he's done that? And this game's probably based in, like, the future, or the near future, at least. <gasps> Wait a minute, this is the room, isn't it? I'm pretty sure this is the room that we, we saw in our dream. Which means this box has a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a $1 bill inside. And there's the lamp that we couldn't do much with in the dream. You what? Beyond perverted. Wait, I was just kind of going through. Did he just said the shoebox? I wonder what they smell like. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, Dante, I don't know about you, man. Oh my god, he did. Damn it. Back, why did you make me check? Reminds me of an angel. That does? Like a, a biblical accurate angel? Christmas elf, you should have been here earlier when we were at this office. And way off in the distance there was a receptionist at a desk that you couldn't really see. And if you clicked on her, he said, there's a receptionist with huge breasts behind that desk. And if you keep checking it, he's like, there's a receptionist with huge breasts back there. Huge breasts. There's huge breasts behind that desk. Iva, let me know if you're cold. So he's definitely, this confirms that he is a, he's a bit of a pervo. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Damn. We don't even know who these people are yet either. That's the part that's especially sketchy. Uh, hang on. Since I was born. Oh uh, well. Okay. My mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well... Uh... Huh? Mm. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. I think they're gonna drug us. Oh, I don't trust right. them. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. No, I don't trust... He looks like Raiden from Metal Gear. You, you know what? Time. I was kind of thinking that too a little bit. Oh. Uh. Mom used to be right handed. What? But now. <clears throat> How did that happen? Oh, did she hurt her arm? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Huh. I see. Uh, I'm 37. Oh, that was fast. 
And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. What, that would have been, what, 21? Yes, just 19 or 19? years old. God damn it. I forgot how old she was already. I was just 37, 18. Okay, yeah, 19. What about your husband? What about your husband? She I shook her head. One. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. Mm. A single mother. Yes. All right, Luke. See ya. Have a good night. Okay. Um. Cushion. I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No, not just the cushion. I saw the entire room in my dream last night. Is there a problem? That's okay. the thing that's that triggered that for you. The cushion no, in the corner. It's not the flowers. The cushion is like the one thing I don't remember from the dream. Oh, the flowers you remember. An iris. I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. The winter iris was the one we saw in our dream, I think. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Okay, everyone's just ellipsising all over the place. Drawing on the wall, I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Well, it looks like there's a dad there. But it also looks like they all have halos over their head, which is a little sus. that you were friends with the president of Lendisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. At Otaku High. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? She's dead. No reason. Oh, Iris doesn't know? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! Oh, no. She did the rar. <clears throat> Am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. Whoops. I think I missed an option. Well, it just said you look chipper, though, which is basically the same thing. Stood and headed for the door. Arison had told me st stood politely. Mr. Dante! We'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. <laughs> Roommates. Right. What? <laughs> anyway, be seeing. Yeah, I would react the same way without context. I didn't notice he wears purple gloves. Uh, All right. Excuse me. Well, I should head home. Now that's gonna, right. that's gonna make Take me wonder care, if if one of her hands doesn't work. I'm automatically thinking about how someone would stab someone in the eye. So it was the left eye that got stabbed into, right? I feel like that's gonna relate some way, and she's gonna be, if not the murderer, she's gonna be a suspect because it's like. The killer had to have used their left hand. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. 
Good idea. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much <laughs> medication. Yeah, you keep up in his medication. Play a game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? I spy with my little eye, right? It's got to be that. Sure, let's play I spy. Yup, I knew it. It had to be. That's the only one it could be. I spy something round. An eyeball. My eyeball. Yeah. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. Oh. That was a threat. Well, at least he's confident, I guess. Jeez. Dashboard. Dashboard. You just got mad at, at a... What's her name? Tessa for doing the same thing. You're not allowed to make the joke that you groaned at. Is this like the end of the chapter? Like we're kind of going over everything again? She'll steer yes, the car off a bridge or self-destruct. Friday, around 5 p.m. Yeah, I'm sure she could. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or I'm surprised we haven't talked to Mizuki yet. Considering she's our roommate and all. All the stab wounds are the on the left side. Found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. That's true. If the ice pick was in the eye, it had it. It, it most likely was stuck in there with. Well, not necessarily. I guess if the eyeball's gone, it could have still been stuck in there. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. Right. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. <laughs> oh, and she's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. Well, oftentimes a relative it means is the, the, of the suspect. Being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. Unless she hated her. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Or does she? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Yeah, I didn't see. She was having fun. It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. All right, let's look at these timeline of events. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. Uh, Mizuki. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. So we need to go question her. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Oh, or we could just do that. Nile's security protocols are intricate. Oh, never mind. It will take time to decipher. Oh, okay. Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again. And I noticed something strange. Something strange? 
there were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like, how did they make Stonehenge? Like, nobody knows. Because it's so old that... Like... The likelihood that they have the tools to move them is, like, very... Uh, uncertain. Or they just had some method that we couldn't, we, we can't figure out. Welcome back. I do wish this game had chapters, unless this has just been one really long chapter, just so I, I could find like a good stopping point though. I brought her here after her examination was- I'm not exactly sure when that would be. Oh, there she is. Suki. She looks fine. She said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? Oh, there are chapters, so we just we're just they're just long, like we're still in the first chapter. I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Hmm. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Fusion Ha. Huh? Sword said you've gone through a few. Fact says you're near the end of the first chapter. So who's telling the truth? Did I just... Have I not noticed the chapter end screens? Gosh. But if we're near one, the end of one, then we should at least probably at least, at least finish this one. Pewter. Even his name's Pewter, like Pewter City Gem. Manual for the machine. It's funny that he needs that. I think he'd be an expert by now. Just a chair. If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Oh, when the days change. Okay, so that's when the chapter, gotcha. Yeah, Hayes and that was, oh, so that word's Saturday for Japanese. Well, you guys didn't tell me that was the chapter. You just, you just said, no, it's not Saturday. <laughs> Besides, if you die you guys into Mizuki's subconscious, can't just tell me I'm wrong. You have to, to educate her. me. Periphonia is psychogenic. Periphonia is psychogenic. What's a phonia? A fear of phones? Let's see. Loss of ability to speak. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And psychogenic, as in it's it's a it's a mental thing. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. I didn't know that phone was sound, but I guess that makes like phonetics or just phone in general, telephone. So I guess that does make sense that phone is a, that's the base word for sound. Uh, right. Which is Understandable, after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. Psychic the only one synchronization. What else is in this room? Completely packed with books. They're all Homer erotic, BL, manga, and gay romance novels. What? <laughs> what? What's BL? Do I want to know? Does that... Okay. Jesus, the whole this whole thing is full of that? That's a lot. BL stands for boys love. Okay. Dante, look. 
It's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. Oh no. What the hell are you talking about? The ring. No one crawled out of it yet. Right, I gotcha. I just I've never heard that term before. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Ooh. Now where on earth did you learn that? From watching pro wrestling, probably. She just said pile drivers specifically. Here we might say M slash M. I've seen that term like M slash M or F slash F or whatever. Like if you're like on a dating site or something. Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. Music. Are they vinyl records? That's rock. Let's rock, baby. She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing. Oh, MLM. Men loving. Me. Okay, see. I thought you meant M slash. God damn it. See, I didn't know that either. I mean, I guess I don't really have a reason to know that because that's not generally something I would look up, but. I guess that's inform good information to know. <sighs> In case I'm on who wants to be a millionaire and I get to the million dollar question. And the question is, what does uh, MLM stand for? Or BL? Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Good. You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki True. saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. Why would he go home after being questioned? Seems reasonable to me. What? Why wouldn't he stick around forever? Or in case you want to narrow down your erotic fiction searches. Right. Of course. You can't hear me from here. <laughs> Alright, I guess... Oops. His real name is Amanama. Ah, Amanoma. Amanoma. He goes by Pewter here. He's a genius engineer, designed the sync system. Also invented Iba, right? I remember that. Whoops. We are ready to begin. Okay. Date, go to the sink room. Whoops. I wanted to do the top option about Iba or something, but oh Got well. it. The first route split is in the upcoming Somnium. Oh, I didn't know there was a route split. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. The route splits are less actual route changes and more just the order you experience things in. They add up to the full story and you need to do them all to see the ending so it doesn't matter which pick. Okay, well that's good to know. I don't have to worry too much about it. Her rising and her brainwaves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Sword, you'd probably would really like to see Walter right now. The way he's laying on my pillow. Trying to look cute so he could get his way again. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Why did you murder your mother? Tell me. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but 
I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. How come you didn't say that line? There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. I do like the way that you like, I, don't, I haven't played like a ton of vision, visual novel style games or similar stuff, but I do kind of like how you do this. Like, I feel like if they ever did like a modern day silver case or if Suda did another game similar to that, this would be a pretty good format to do it in. It, it's also cool that they, most of the lines are voiced as well. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. Right. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. So many. Okay, um... What's hilarious is the back of the box for this game has the tagline, The Mind Never Lies, which is patently false. Right, that's where lies come from. They don't just appear out of thin air. Hi, Pewter. Agent Dante, please. Mizuki needs you. When did this game come out? It's PS4, right? So I'm guessing maybe around 2016 or something. Or is it newer than Why that even? To me right now? Oh, really? This came out in 2019. Wow. I didn't realize it was that new. I'm going to be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that. We will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Sushi's the only one I know she doesn't like. Wow. I actually, because I did the optional thing of reading her file, I know what she likes and what she doesn't like. I wouldn't have known that at this point if I hadn't read it already. So I know she likes stew and ramen and unagi, but she doesn't like raw fish. So if I said, let's get sushi, she'd probably act grossed out, I would think. And that's the only option that's different here. So I'm curious if I should pick that one. But at the same time, I hope that wouldn't be punishing me. Because clearly, clearly you want to, uh... You would want to pick what she would like, so... No, she doesn't like raw fish. She likes unagi. Because we, I remember we, we were making a point of that, where... I was saying that unagi tastes like land meat, and it's cooked. But sushi is raw fish, and she doesn't like raw fish. Okay. But they don't have cooked sushi in Japan. I know, because I was there. And I was sad because I liked cooked sushi. At the same time, I'm in Japan, I can't really complain. 
So yeah, uh, tonkotsu ramen, stew, and unagi. She likes all that, but she doesn't like raw seafood, which would be sushi. Uh, Sword says they do, Fax says they do. I swear to God, when before we went, I looked it up. I looked up everywhere to try to find, to try to find uh, cooked sushi in Japan and I could not find it. There was actually one place that served as they called it American style sushi, which is cooks, they have cooked sushi here. And it was closed. The freaking restaurant was closed. As in shut down. Uh, but I, I, I looked, I, like, maybe there are some specialty places, but in all the areas that we were at, I looked for cooked sushi and I could not find it, because that's my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite, but I like having... When I, when I have sushi, I like having the most variety as possible, so it's just, that adds, like, a whole, you know, it, it adds more. But um, assuming that we only get to pick one option here, I think I'm going to go with let's go get some sushi just to see what she says. I'm curious. I know you only like the natto, egg, and cucumber rolls, but we can go get some sushi. Right, because she doesn't like raw fish. But there are sushi that don't use raw fish. I didn't think about that. Also, I hate natto. Natto is fermented soybean sushi, and it's disgusting. Disgusting. If okay, if you like natto, that's do you do you, but I. It's very rare that I can't force a little bit of food down, and I could not force the natto down. It was just. I'll eat the good ones. Yeah, <laughs> that says I'll eat the good ones. Are you teasing her? No, seriously, she loves the ginger. Date, her heart rate is steady. Oh, it worked. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you sync. She got really excited about eating that natto that I I do not care sure. for. Got it. Damn it, now I want sushi. Hopefully we can go get sushi when my brother visits next month because usually I can't go out and have sushi because okay. no one else Ready that I would time. go out and eat with likes sushi Remember, Date, <laughs> except my brother. You have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, Ooh. I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. So at this point, we actually don't want to just waste time looking at everything. We want to go straight for the well, goal, then, right? Let's begin. Yeah. I mean, that's... That is a thing that... People often do when they're uh, having... Going through some awful stuff for for a lot of people, joking around does help them. That's true. That's why they say a lot of uh, comedians are actually tend to be very uh, damaged or hurt or or depressed people because they they use their they use comedy to kind of help deal with that. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Terminator reference. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Oh boy. Is this well, Bloom Park? Is she really wearing clothes? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. I know why the caged bird sings, Mizuki you know. should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time well, we better is going start to run sniffing out. flowers. Oh no, is that why he was sniffing everything in his dream? Do you remember that? He sniffed the flower, he sniffed the wine, 
And then in real life, what did he talk about sniffing? God damn it, Dante. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? And that was that was even in the same house too. Because the box with the UFO with all the occult stuff in it. This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Oh, that's true. He didn't sniff anything. He was making a uh, Iba sniff everything, I guess. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed, so it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? Yeah, it has like to a do black with hole. Relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. That's such a scary concept that depending on where you are in space, like, you can go through much more time. Or you could go through time faster or slower. Yeah, I think they did a movie about that where an astronaut left and when he came back, like, his whole family was, like, dead or, like, super old because so much time had passed for them while he was gone. This could be useful. In fairness, sniffing flowers and wine's a pretty normal response to both. Yeah. That was that part was part of Interstellar, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the movie, right? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with I think this, I watched you that. can take your time and explore. No, I definitely did watch that, I remember now. Cause that's the uh What's his name did that, right? Um the guy who did Memento, and the Prestige, and the uh, the Dark Knight series. Can't remember his name right now. That is true. That smell does tend to uh, give you like memory flashbacks, right? Christopher Nolan and his brother. Uh, can't remember his name. It's another Nolan who like contributes to his movies a lot, but you never hear, hear his name brought up. <sighs> Let's get started. Somnium scan. Activate. Did they just say take your time and explore? They said we have six minutes. You can't lie to me. Trying to make me get the bad ending. Until lock number one. Mental lock number two. Mental lock number three. In fact, she's wearing the same outfit as I would. Uh, sinking in the pain. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki's mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. I did miss the part where it said time stops because I was start. I was. To reach Mizuki, something Sorry, must I got be distracted about thinking about Christopher Nolan or something. Cage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Oh my god, the horses. Mm -hmm. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Oh, the game's glitching. Dang, it was so stable until this Iba, point. The speaker over there. It's really unfortunate Shoot. to see. Hmm. Ah. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? If I just ran, ran around in a circle for, for the six minutes and just didn't accomplish anything, would that just progress the game? Because they said you get a reward for doing it, you know, uh, under the allotted time. So that must... That must suggest that you can beat it not under the allotted time, right? Well, because if you got a game over, why would they specify that you got a prize for beating it under a certain amount of... Under one second or whatever it said. Like, with, with more than one second remaining, that's what it was. Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Time's expended whenever I was moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upright. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 time limit. 
If your final action goes over the time limit, it doesn't count as a game over. That seems so specific, though. Like one little uh. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. A one move difference out of like a hundred. Let's pull it out, I guess. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. Blood's gonna squirt out of it. Ooh, now it's gonna shock the highest point. Perfect. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened. Over there. Well, it just seems like more of a punishment for someone who barely beat it to not get that prize, rather than 99% of people who are going to beat it in a every other, you know, with, with with every other possible amount of time left. That's what I mean, it's it's just weird. Like usually a prize would be like beat it under like with 60 seconds remaining or something rather than one step away from losing. It's like if you were punished in a fighting game because you won with the minimum amount of health left. But if you had any other amount of health left, you would have just gotten the prize. We redirected the lightning. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Okay, so if pulling the Dutton, pick... We got a timing. Got a timing. Timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time in Somnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Items that affect time. Okay. Only affect the time taken to perform an action. Only able to hold three timies. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Spend it after one use, but you could use them as often as you can. Okay, um... Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, I like lost time. Um... Uh, you do get bonus concept art for beating it in under three minutes. But, but I swear there was like a specific... It might have been concept art or some other prize. It said you if you beat it with more than one second remaining. That's the specific prize that I'm that I think is just kind of weird how the rules work there. But okay. Um yeah. something like way over there we could interact with. The entrance gate. Open. We'll need more than a little force to open this. This gate is as solid as my virtue. I don't know how solid your virtue is. I guess we have to tackle it. The entrance gate. Oh, they don't take away the time to laugh. Like, okay. Because so much time had passed from when I pulled the ice pick that I didn't realize that they were connected. I thought it, I just, Leave I don't know. It to me. I thought the time was just going down and I panicked. The gate hurts more than I do. Doubt it. Alright, so the gate was a waste of time. I thought since it was farther away it might be important. It's not. An enormous bird cage. Uh slip through or lift. Well she can't break down she can't open a door. Why would she be able to lift? Cage, right? But we need. Mm. But they said we need to remove the cage. We can't just go through it. They did specify that. So I guess we need to try to lift it. Under no, she's too weak. I knew it wouldn't work. 
Agent Date, you've got five minutes. An enormous bird. I guess we have to slip through, and it is too narrow. No, your body is slim enough to get through. You think so? In that case. Oh my God! I'm just it's wasting time. I am not. I am just large-breasted. Doesn't look like it. How would you operate a merry-go-round? Well, I didn't think to do that because it's a dream. Like we just. So, okay, so my first example of of progressing in this dream world was I picked up an ice pick and then a speaker tower like raised up in the air so immediately I'm like okay this is dream logic we have to do something that would be a dream thing I wouldn't think to go use the operating booth I would think oh maybe we can lift the cage up or something because it's a dream so that just seems like the control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. I didn't even realize that it wasn't uh, lifted before. What is your plan once I am inside? Turn off the merry-go-round. Is a control room. I, I mean, uh, lift the cage. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. God damn it. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Bro, I'm definitely not getting the concept a there bird now. Cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. I'm guessing lifting is going to be too heavy, so we have to tackle it. I'll send it flying. Nope. I think you've had enough. You don't always have your true strength in dreams, I guess. A bird cage. There are balloons in. <laughs> Time will not be used. What? Okay, good. This will be easy. Glad to hear it. <laughs> See, the only reason I didn't think to lift it is specifically with the door, she emphasized that trying to just open it wasn't enough, and then tackle was the stronger option, so this time I thought that I'd use that prior information. What? But it was so heavy! Okay, so what we were doing in here was going to take the cage away outside. I didn't even think about that. I just thought that these were completely different cages. Nothing happened. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. I guess we better pick it up. Retry will allow you to return to a save point just after unlocking a mental lock. You only have three retries. Going back to one lock costs one. Going back two costs two. Going back three costs all three. You regain your three retries by selecting restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. This will not I don't I don't understand the timey stuff though, because it said that if you use a timey, then you get more time. A deflated rubber. I told you, please call it a balloon. What are you but, getting so worked up about? But it, but for some reason, um, it said it wouldn't use a timey, but wouldn't we want to use one so that we would 
use less time. Yeah. I mean, I wish I freaking had some of those, what? but I don't know if that's something you need to pick that I have to find yeah, you can put it in your mouth chew in it, the dream or is that something you find outside of the dream and you bring it into the dream world I could blow it up normally sorry I'm like it's just overthinking I can't concentrate on what they're saying Ugh. hang on you do want to use one it was warning you that you didn't have it selected what what the heck? I'm so confused. I thought it said... First I... Well, I thought it said your time will not be used. I don't know. Sorry, I'm confused. I don't... I don't know... I don't know. I've been getting them the whole time? What? I have three of them. I've been getting them this whole time. Hang on a second. How do I find uh, my inventory? six minutes time goes down you can obtain a time is an item but I don't have any items so where the heck what are the how do I have three of these if I never even found a single special item yet you can obtain them after certain choices you make but the game did the game ever clearly say you got a timey because I swear to God, I didn't see that one single time. So I don't get how I would have three. When you go to perform an action, it shows them at the top of the screen. It's a deflated balloon. Didn't we just try the blow up option? Oh, I picked E. I'm a freaking idiot. Why did I do that? I legit thought I was going to pick. Oh. Sorry, there's so much stuff on the screen. These will cut them in half. This one will make any time 30 seconds. But but when did we start getting those though? That's the thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Cause when I, when they said, okay, timey, you'll find special objects that will give you timeys. But I didn't find a single object this entire time. I've just been moving things. So I'd, I'd I don't even know when I got these. That's what's confusing me. Like, I, I didn't even think to look for them because... The half next to the blow up option means you will get that timey if you do that action. Okay, see, I didn't... I don't know, I guess. I just... There's numbers everywhere, but okay. I wish they- did they explain that? I feel like- I feel like I didn't get that explained to me. Because yeah, now I see the purple that says half. I thought that that was just telling me it was half the time- I don't know. Um... Should I just restart this whole thing? I feel like I wasted so much time. Hang on.
faster. We'll just restart. I wasted like a minute just going to the gate, which I thought... Oh, this is the farthest away thing, so this will reward me, right? And that's not what happened at all. Where's her face? Didn't I? I went back to the first lock, right? So don't we still need to do the picture? But the thing is raised already, I guess not. I, I swear to god I picked the first lock. Oy vey. So I didn't even save all that time I wanted to save. Okay, whatever. What is your plan once I am inside? It is I do just... Alright, come on. Oh, we could just straight up... Okay, perfect. A bird cage. So we already know how to do this side. So I'm gonna go page. ahead and... Please not call it a you can say... Do this. Okay. So I'm assuming that the question mark purple circles will give you a timey, but it's not telling you uh, what kind of timey. And now I'm assuming the reason why the lift option warned me is because it, it takes up a lot of time. So, uh... Timey will not be used! I... I have it selected, right? Okay, I need to use X first. Okay, good. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. Be easy. Glad to hear. Oy vey. Okay. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Uh, you don't need to do this side. It's a choice. This is the route split. Well, no, I did it because I already knew how to do it. Remember? And I mean, I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't have context for any of uh, anything beyond that. So use it and then we blow it up. Understood. Date, oh, wait, please. I haven't seen Be this quiet. yet, have I? Whoops. God damn it. I, I was like thinking of just fast forwarding. Oh, well. I don't I don't know what they were Gah, sorry. Cuz I don't think we did that yet, right? Before. Perhaps the balloon was the key. Okay, um Sorry, I'm just like, whenever I'm on a time limit in anything, I just get so flustered and I get all like... My brain gets more scrambled than usual, so... Ugh, I'm making like all kinds of... Mistakes here. Let me stop and think. Um, I heard a story from Mizuki a while back. One time when Mizuki was a little girl, Shoko brought her a balloon. It was one of the nice helium ones. But the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. If you stand still, time doesn't move. I, I know, I know that. I just, uh... I don't know, this whole thing, this whole part of the game just kind of got me all... Uh, mixed up. Maybe that's why Mizuki put the balloons inside the bird cage so they couldn't fly away. And then we lifted the cage. But well, we made her relive a painful memory. All right, now that the bird cage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not yeah, I don't think that's gonna help her want to talk again. If 
you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. Oh, right. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Well, the panda's spinning. So I guess that's our hint that we want to go mess with that panda. Although time is moving while you're standing still a little bit still. So it, it is actually moving. It's just going really slow. All right, panda. The panda is floating. Where kick away or slap down? Um... If we get kick away, then we'll get a one-fifth time thing, but that takes up a lot of time within itself. At least when we're on the options, the time doesn't move at all. They're wearing it. Wear it? Like this? That should... Oh, it's still moving. Dang, I thought that would stop it. How are you doing that? Unknown. I guess that was a waste of time. It was kind of fun, though. Okay, um... The panda is... Can we kick it while it's in the air, though? I'm gonna use... Mm. I'm gonna try slap down, because it's in the air. I don't know if we'd be able to kick I something. I see it! Here. The view from the top! Yeah, that didn't do anything. Damn it. Uh the panda is Well, we can at least drop this down to ten seconds. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Um What is this? Merry go rounds can fly? Date, over there. Virus. Why? Uh. Why is Iris? She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? Why is Iris here? What is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh no. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? You're that so hurts. mean. That hurts! Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine. Apologizing means nothing. Say something. Don't make me into the bad guy. I think you're making yourself into the bad guy. Clint! What's that look, huh? Ow! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Jeez. It's all your fault. You. You. I wish you had never been born. Mizuki's voice. The other voice is likely... Damn. What's going on here? Aiba, look out! What? I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't a bed and breakfast. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. If you chose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed the 360 second time limit. 
Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Peter sleep talking. More than one second when you clear, you get a prize. See? More than one second when you clear, you get a prize. I knew I wasn't crazy. But that's why it still doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, it's it's punishing anyone who barely beat it, rather than really rewarding everyone else who just beat it with any other amount of time left. Which just seems kind of strange to me. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Anyways. A merry-go-round horse. It's pink. Well, we should probably go talk to Mizuki. It's Mizuki. Give present. I don't have a present. Give. Speak kindly. Break glass. Um. That's such a bad reward, though. You get a 40... turn anything to 40 seconds? The right option only takes 10 seconds, but I feel like... That's not really gonna help much, either. I would go with my instinct and say speak kindly, because she's just getting freaking yelled at. Oh Mizuki, damn it, I didn't pick- I forgot me? to activate the timey. We will protect you, I keep thinking when I'm highlighting it's using it. Be there for you. What a freaking waste. So, it's all right now. Unless this is the, the final action, we might get lucky. Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Oh, I thought we were gonna have to actually go and use the speaker. Why would we want her to hear her mother's voice? Mom loves you, I love you. Oh. Well, that's just sad. That's not my mom. She would never say something like that. Hey, do you hear something? Is that a phone ringing? Where, where's it coming from? Date, don't. You can't stay any longer. But I think we had like a couple minutes left. Well, I, I did it with more than three minutes left, right? So I should get that whatever the three minute concept art is. Date's Inferno. Are you okay? You still not ready to talk?
She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. <laughs> Don't come in there and say it out loud. You're gonna give her a placebo effect. She's gonna believe it. Iba, call Iris' phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean Good a point. personal order? Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? Oh my god, she wants to play Minecraft? No. No, I mean, I did see the new chapter thing. Then go on a date with me. I'm just waiting for this to end so I can... Uh... A date? And then I'll we save. Well, I want to see what concept art we got, and then I'll and then I'll save, and we'll uh, Don't we'll wrap up. Then I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. <sighs> All right, understood. Understood. Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is. I have it in my history. See ya. Hmm. What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. How did she have her number already? Um. I feel like every time Christmas Elf joins, it's when, uh, what's her name shows up? <laughs> and then she thinks it's like a dating anime sim or something. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, wait a minute. I thought we missed something here, but apparently we didn't. I guess I just came later. point he was gonna have like this weird half mask wait why does she have a steel pipe uh-oh is that a spoiler alert Engineer at Abyss, Special Investigation Team, mul mul likes multiples of 16. Very specific. Chairs, Toko Roten, Amore. Dislikes bugs, cats, conservatives, and cyclopes? Cyclopsies? Uh, working with machines, collecting dojins, magical girls, skills building models, imitating the Vuzilas? The Vuzila? That's that instrument, right? Uh, Peter is a business engineer, brilliant scientist. He's responsible for maintaining psych machine. Yeah. Oh, invented Iba and set her personality to his liking. So that's why she is the way she is, I guess. Which is entertaining. Alright, so... I mean, I'm... Despite that whole chaos that happened and that last thing we just did, I, I have been enjoying the game. Uh, like I said, it, it's... Uh, I think they have a good way of formatting the interactions for everything. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like super invested in the story, but the characters are entertaining. Um, so I am curious to see what's going to happen with them as well. 
The dream stuff's definitely interesting. I don't know what happened there when I got into that. That whole thing was just kind of a mess because I didn't know what was going on, I guess. But now I should know what's going on, so that should hopefully help next time we go into one of those. Uh, I think the fact they called them timies threw me off because when it said you will not use time, timey, I thought it said time. And then I didn't realize I was picking up timies that whole time. I don't know. It was just... It'd be good. the good thing you guys were there to help explain it because I don't know... Uh, it might have taken me a little while to realize what was going on there otherwise. But, um, interesting stuff. I hope we made decent progress. I feel like I kind of maybe was slower than, uh, maybe, uh, wasn't playing very efficiently, but, um. Hey, Date, remember that time you were blackout drunk? You thought that locker was a urinal? Please oh, no. don't remind me. But hopefully uh, we're making okay progress and then we'll continue making good progress as we play more. So thank you again, as always. Walter is having a nightmare, so I better go wake him up. He's going, yep, 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 in his sleep. Yeah, hope you have a great night. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for being patient with me and helping me out. Um, And I'll catch you guys next time. Good night. Peace. Hi.